Time right now is 5.53. The Cold War was at its hottest in 1964, two years after the Cuban Missile Crisis. The threat of nuclear annihilation hung over humanity. The United States, the United Kingdom, and the USSR came to an agreement to end nuclear testing above ground or on the water. That effectively set the arms race underground, and that's where Mississippi comes in. The Atomic Energy Commission and Department of Defense did not keep it a secret when they set up shop in rural Lamar County. Leaders from Mississippi had courted them here. If it uh, brought in millions of dollars for this federal project, then I think they were happy to do that. Folks who live near the site also got paid between $5 and $10 for any inconvenience. It was also seen as a very patriotic thing to do. The fear was that the Soviets uh, might cheat in any arms deal uh, that they would be secretly testing underground without us knowing about it. Uncle Sam wasn't about to let that happen. Not far from where I'm standing, but about a half mile underground lies a massive pillar of salt, the remnants of a sea that dried up ages ago, and the perfect place to test a nuclear bomb. And so, on October 22nd, 1964, America detonated a device more powerful than 5,000 tons of TNT. Shock waves rippled away from ground zero. Uh, it bucked up about uh, four inches or so at the site itself, uh, and then those waves just propagated away from there. The blast damaged several nearby homes that could be felt more than 20 miles away on the Southern Miss campus. But when the dust settled, the test was a success. America learned more about its nuclear arsenal. A second blast in the massive salt cavity created by the first helped us calibrate seismic equipment to better detect signs of underground nuclear testing. Um, I, think the, I think the biggest damage uh, happened when the government a couple of months after the blast uh, sent a drill bit down in uh, to the to the salt cave to be able to send some instruments down there and then they brought up some radioactive soil. That soil and any other radioactive material that made its way to the surface are now long gone, safely decaying in a nuclear repository half a country away. Most people are not worried about it at all. They've done some studies um, of the radioactivity around there, and it seems to have held the plug uh, basically held tight uh, during the event. The only evidence of what happened is a hard-to-find marker atop the site. It commemorates the test and warns future generations not to dig here. Now, those two detonations in Lamar County are the only known nuclear tests conducted east of the Mississippi River. Nevada got it a lot worse. They had hundreds of tests out there. Kelly Scott.